Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the concurrent hash map uh, methods which has been added in JDK 1.8. So, first method we are going to talk about that is for each. The method for each is capable of iterating over the key value pairs of the map in parallel. So, let's go to the Eclipse and try to understand these things through an example. So I have created an, a project with concurrent hash map Java 8 methods demo and I have created a, a class concurrent hash map for, for each client test and so let's try to understand how we can iterate uh, hash map parallelly. So first we'll iterate hash map uh, sequentially and uh, uh, that API basically for each loop will use a single thread to iterate. Uh, its entry. So let's create a uh, hash map first. So not hash map but concrete hash map. Concrete hash map. And let's say key we are taking as integer. is taking as integer and value we are just taking as uh, string and let's create an object of concrete hash map okay now let's iterate let's uh, use a for loop uh, for each loop so that we can use sufficient elements in this map so let's start from i equals to 1 till uh, let's see 1000, 100, 101, not 1000, so that uh, we can add at least 100 elements in this concrete hash map. And here we can see we can do like ma hash map dot put and key we are taking as i integer and value we are taking like this portion underscore and just I'm concatenating this integer right so once you finish this loop then 100 elements will be 100 entry will be stored in this concurrent hash map now we can iterate this hash map using for each loop which we, and these things already we have seen in past a lot of examples like hash map has a for each method right uh, so here I'm talking about this method right so for each method which accepts uh, by consumer uh, uh, as an argument right and by consumer is an a uh, functional interface which is having a accept method right which accepts two input parameters and returns nothing right so let's make use of for each loop and here we are going to use a uh, lambda expression right so which already we have talked in past many video tutorial so we have a like you can say key and second we have a value right so let's say vl well and here we are going to write a lambda expression right so i'm going to write lambda expression with more than one statement so that's why we have a uh, curly bracket open and close and here what i'm trying to print first i'll print the thread name so I would say thread and we have a class is called thread sorry thread and thread has a method is called current thread and get name right so this will print the thread name and let's print a, a, a concurrent hash map key and value so key and let's key and value just separate with the tab and here is your value and if i try to run this program then you can see the output now you can see what's the output now you can see output is we are getting in sequential manner right and every time you can see the name of the thread is main itself right always you are getting the thread name is main 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 
means one, we have a only one thread that is called main thread main method is also called a main thread in java right so right now only one thread is basically responsible to iterate this method and we get the output in the sequential manner right so you can see that we are getting 1 to 100 in sequential manner right now we want to use parallelism to iterate this map so let's put a marker i want to separate out uh, these two output these two iteration so now i'm going to use hash map and here we have a one more uh, for each loop and which is having so this for each already we have seen this for each is loop is basically getting inherited from the map interface right and this for each basically belongs to the concurrent hash map itself this is very specific to the concurrent hash map and this con uh, for each takes, takes two parameter right first is the parallelism threshold and second is the by consumer previous was taking only by consumer and here so here threshold value you can specify like here i'm going to specify three and action is nothing but it's a by consumer interface right so by consumer interface we can specify so by con here also we had a by consumer so what we can do we can copy this for each loop and paste it over, over here and this for each takes one extra parameter so three i'm going to pass over here right so that's it and we are just making use of this for each loop which takes first parameter the parallelism threshold right and second parameter is the by consumer itself and here by consumer always that should not be a null if you are passing by consumer is a null so immediately that will throw null pointer exception and by if you, you this is not null by consumer is not null then next action will be performed and that is nothing but the for each mapping uh, task uh, 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 will be called and this is an internal class so we'll talk about these things after a certain while uh, let's complete uh, this program first so here also i'm trying to uh, print thread name as well as uh, key value pairs right so let's uh, try to run it again now now i can show you the output right so in first iteration when first time we try to iterate the map then you can see only one thread we have a main thread right and you get the output in a sequential fashion right so you get the output in sequential fashion up to here when second time we try to iterate map and we had specify the parallelism th threshold and we had given the parallelism threshold as three so you can see name of the thread first main thread we have a second thread is called a join a fork join pull dot common pool worker to this is thread name in second time and again uh, you have a main thread got the chance now again got worker two thread then worker one so there are three threads are parallelly running right and this basically this collection is divided into the chunks and even you have a worker thread three as well right so worker thread one two three and main there are four threads are running parallelly and try to iterate this collection that's why you are not getting collection in the sequential fashion right see see the order right so we are not getting output in the sequential manner but this if you iterate map in this way then obviously that will be faster right so that's the i mean uh, main advantage of ug i mean for each method which is having the first parameter as the uh, parallel threshold and second is the by consumer itself so uh, so here if you can see the i have already shown you the output and uh, you can see in second iteration i mean four three i mean three extra threads uh, have been spawned and uh, this iteration of this thread is assigned to the uh, i mean three more threads I mean worker one two and three apart from the main thread so that's why iteration of second when you iterating a map using uh, I mean this kind of for each loop will could be faster than this loop so that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial and thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video tutorial